Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. These are your June readings, general and love readings. Um, June, we're right in between the eclipses on the axis, Gemini, Sagittarius, everyone. So the energies are very interchangeable. There are new, lots of endings, new beginnings. We're also in a Mercury retrograde. So expect situations and people to come back from the past to redirect, to check on, to fix, if possible, if a situation is fixable. Uh, blasts from the past tend to come back with Mercury retrograde. See if it works out. If it doesn't, it's time to move on. Okay, uh, Mercury in, in its home sign of Gemini is going to be very strong. So expect a lot of confusion, a lot of things to break down. Gemini is all gadgets. Is it what your washing machine, your fridge, your car? What is it? Gemini is uh, all about needing to make a decision. There's a lot. I've done special videos. Um, those of you that are on Patreon, you know, you get a lot of astrology. We go into the details of how the sky is affecting our life, the planetary movements. So thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Those of you that are uh, already on tier one, you get all the extended readings that I'm going to do today. All these readings are going to be extended on Patreon for a very small fee. They're also for purchase on my website. You can find the links beneath the video, right? Thank you in advance for your support, your love, sharing, liking, and commenting on the videos. Let's go on to the signs now. Hello, hello, dear Cancer. How are you? Welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking, and I'm bringing you your June general and love reading, which I will be extending through patreon and my website you can find the links beneath the video if you're interested if this reading speaks to you thank you for your support thank you for liking sharing subscribing dear cancer we are in a very difficult time of the year we're in between eclipses and we're dealing with a mercury retrograde so we could be seeing many changes situations to do with the past coming back uh, people from the past returning to refix things let's see what's going on generally and in love for cancer sun moon rising venus mars and the north node thank you spirit cancer what's going on with cancer this is a celtic cross let's take it and see where you're at so you could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Queen of Pentacles could be a mother, someone concerned with their money. What is the challenge? And we've got Taurus, a marriage. Okay, some of you could be dealing with someone. You could be connected to someone that is already in a marriage. Someone that could be in between two worlds we've got two keys the challenge is to make a choice um, who who this queen wants to be with if that is the case okay the hierophant can speak of uh, religion family let's see because we know Taurus at this time is has got Uranus transiting through it so we know Taurus is fixed earth but Uranus is sort of bringing uh, drastic changes in money matters as well okay uh, but also changes where there's where there's no value there is no um, no investment let's see what the what the um, card is at the foundation which is the root of the issue we've got the two of wands could be a choice recent past nine of wands a lot to do with desire, passion, creativity, projects. What's crowning you? Because we could see here someone is in at the position of a portal. They're ready to make a choice because they've been through a lot. What's crowning? Five of Pentacles. So a lack of 
a lack of value, a lack of finances here. Six of Pentacles. Just wondering if you're dealing with an earth sign, someone who's already a mother, who's feeling a sense of lack. Now, dear Cancer, obviously, obviously we've got a lot of earth energies here which are very stable. They need stability. They need security. Um, this is challenging finan uh, financially. There's challenges. This is what is on your mind or that there's no emotional security here and no physical security between remember in the five of pentacles it shows two people outside of a church needing to change their perspective or needing to know that they're through keeping the faith they can find solace within each other let's see because you may also be from a different religion you may hold different beliefs or have different status near future we've got the tower and the tower has shown up in practically all the readings we do have an eclipse on the 10th of june a new moon in the sign of gemini we're coming from an eclipse a full moon in the sign of sagittarius so a lot of us are dealing well the tower the eclipses are very fated yes they're difficult they're challenging but they're meant to put us on the right path So there's a sudden shift or an awakening, an aha moment in the near future concerning this situation here. Is it a relationship? Is it someone that's a mother here? Someone that's married? The challenge is the high priest, the hierophant. Maybe the challenge is stubbornness or if not stubbornness, holding on to a marriage where there is there's no security. Let's... And this could be another side to you, dear Cancer, if you've got strong earth in your chart. Let's look at the position of you. And we've got the full card, which says you're being put on a new cycle. This is a new beginning. You're wanting to go on that adventure, wanting to take a risk. Your environment holds the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, the Queen of Hearts. Strong intuition, someone that's ready for love, ready to step into love. Queen of Cups could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could be your energy, obviously, or this is someone in your periphery. What's your hopes and fears? The Empress. We've got three, three divine feminine here. Hopes and fears is the Empress. The Queen of Pentacles and the Empress are the same person. This is someone that's very nurturing, very motherly. Taurus, Libra. Taurus and Libra as well. Remember that the Empress is the pinnacle of love, beauty, magnetism and creation. Also pregnancy or pregnant with an idea. Um, the seed has been planted. Now, you're hoping to... I feel here with the Empress, you're hoping to expand on this love connection. Or this is this could be someone that's out of bounds to you. If this is a mother um, and someone that's still in a marriage, you're hoping for, because this is how you vision um, your partner, I feel, with the Empress. The perfect mother, right? What is the outcome? And we've got the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> The Four of Pentacles is the Miser card. Um, this is my Taurus energy. Dear Cancer, I don't know if you're holding back on your emotions and not speaking truly from the heart. I do feel here that there have been messages of love between the two of you. But I feel that you're holding on to your dogmas, to old beliefs, and whether this is you or whether this is the other person. That is the case here with the Four of Pentacles. Someone is wanting something safe and secure. Holding something very close to their heart. Now, Fours always speak of emotional or financial security. Um, <clears throat> someone is needing that. What is at the bottom? 
We've got the Eight of Swords. So someone trapped uh, through their perception. Um, this is a... They're deceiving themselves. It, it's, it's their thoughts and their perceptions that are holding them bound to a situation. Or... With a tower, and I'm going to say the tower could be the release of this perception. Let's see what's beneath that. We've got the strength card, someone trusting that they've got the power to manifest or control a situation. Um, this is a strong sexual desire. It's also a card of trust. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. We've got Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, and um, Libra. And we've got the Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, things being up in the air, needing to make a choice. We've got the World card here, which is in the past. The World can mean a cycle trying to close here in the past. Uh, someone's not letting this happen here. That's what I feel. Uh, someone is not letting this happen. Three of Pentacles. Someone is planning, strategizing, maybe, for this ending, but uh, maybe physical distance is also an issue here or even perception here because this is a card of fears, right? The fear of the unknown. Remember, she is blindfolded. Or someone's planted a seed of fear in someone's head here. And that's why the tower is coming through to release someone from their burdens, from their dogmatic ideas, thoughts, perceptions. Let's see for Cancer, please, Spirit. Cancer in June. We've got the star card. We've got the path. And the path, number 22, Venus. This is Venus in Libra. If there's value here uh, and there's love then someone's going to make the right choice here this is a card of choices opportunities travel okay maybe even separation and someone is hesitating someone has got a wish fulfillment and if they're not able to move towards that and make the choice to go on that journey the tower comes through it's a 16 just like the tower is in the sun. We've got the two illuminaries here, the two stars. And what's, I feel that there is great love here, the ability to create. Yes, children are involved here, but what's in between the the distance between these stars is the, the decision, maybe even physical, uh, you know, a physical distance. And we've got a lot of worry around it, a lot of deception. Um, right, the, the card of the clouds is Neptune in Pisces. Now, of course, Jupiter has entered Aquarius as well, which is expanding. Many times we could say it's expanding on the illusion or the, you know, the confusion. But remember that we need to go with what we what we believe, okay? Jupiter in Pisces is very much to do with the divine, okay? Um, this is a card of insecurity, but there's news coming through. The birds and the sun is breaking through, okay? Something is something that's been hidden will be shown through communication. Let's see. And we've got, it's concerning a home, someone's happiness, some someone's stability, okay? Let's see what else is going on for Cancer. Let's take a Wisdom of the Oracle, please, Spirit, for June. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node. What's going on in between eclipses in the month of June with Mercury retrograding for Cancer? What does Cancer need to know? And we've got the fork in the road it is in the reverse which is saying the fork in the road, the boundaries, the limitations are coming down. Okay, this came through in the reverse, which means that's not an issue. Let's look at the moonology here. And I'm going to say here, someone's been stuck for quite a while because of indecision. 
someone has been looking at the signs they've been they've been too scared to look at the signs to take action let's see cancer we've got your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn new moon in capricorn will be in december we've got expect powerful change new moon eclipse so we've got the 10th of june the new moon eclipse which could be playing out also uh well the closer we are around the eclipse the eclipse the more potent the energy but eclipse energies can last for months let's take one more so this is Gemini making a decision. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. And we've recently have it, had a new moon in Taurus. Remember that this is my Taurus card. We've also got the high priest here, which is the, in the challenge position. Prosperity. Someone's not moving ahead until they know that they're um, financially uh, feeling secure. So we've got two new moons here, a lot to do with, with three new moons, everyone, three new moons. So this could mean, dear Capricorn, because, Ca what am I saying, dear Cancer, Capricorn is your seventh house. So there's a new beginning in relationships. And some of you could also be working, partnership, be in partnership with a Capricorn. There is a new moon, a new beginning, and your hard work will start to show the um, its fruit, right? Now, expect powerful change, a new powerful change with a new moon eclipse and new moon in Taurus. This speaks of abundance. There is a lot of prosperity here for you. Let's put these cards here. So... Uh, a solar eclipse is an amplified new moon. It's happening in the sign of Gemini, okay, which Gemini, Sagittarian axis, obviously. So maybe someone's making a choice. Maybe it could be this Queen of Pentacles. Remember the Queen of Pentacles I see very strongly as Virgo. And obviously Virgo is ruled by, Gem by uh, Mercury, which is also the ruling planet of the eclipse and Mercury is on the eclipse. So you could be hearing about someone having made a decision. This could be a surprise. Let's see what the Black Moon Astrology has for Cancer. Someone could be taking a leap of faith, wanting to go on that journey. Okay. And I'm also going to say that Four of Pentacles and Five, that's the Nine of Pentacles, which does speak of someone standing strong um, and someone who knows their worth. Okay. And we have Lunar Eclipse and Change. Look at that. Right in between the eclipses. Look, the fact that we've got both the eclipses here means very importantly dear cancer that there is change here we've got a 43 43 uh, means a seven so the chariot this is cancer this is overcoming obstacles change of home now if if that is the case someone is moving to a home where they feel much more safe and secure because there's been an ending concerning um their stability look they've been trying to find for a solution a way out of a dark time in their life dear cancer i don't know if this is you or the other person or maybe even both of you let's take more cards a lunar eclipse means that something has been eclipsed completed and therefore the change starts to happen you've got three new moons here so many changes are ahead of you so many new beginnings you've just been going through a major purge purge dear cancer let's look at the queen of pentacles we've got the emperor here the emperor is aries and taurus taurus has shown up strongly here why do i feel as though the um your you've got something 
concerning Taurian energy. And why do I feel? Because Aries is also a cardinal just like you. We've got Chiron moving through Aries, which is a an emotional or psychological wound of someone not feeling good enough. Now, the emperor can, he's a four. He's a four. He's someone that provides security, safety. He's also a father. I'm just wondering if this is not you. Let's look at the high priest, which is in the challenge. We've got justice. Someone's going through divorce here. It's either you or the other person. This queen of pentacles, or it's both of you. Let's look at the two of wands, which is at the foundation. Ace of swords, severing ties, making a choice between two. Let's look at that nine of wands in the recent past. We've got the moon. So there's been deception where a home is concerned. A lot of fears. Someone's standing. Uh, someone's put up the wall, not communicating here. Now, the moon can speak of fears, but it can also speak of strong intuition. Again, the moon is the mother. Five of pentacles, five of cups. Crying over spilt milk, having regrets to do with your finances, your financial status, your money matters. Remember, the five of cups is regrets, but it's two cups are still standing. Wow. Wow, the tower. So here is the nine of pentacles that I counted before. We've got the individual that's standing strong. I do feel that this has got a lot to do with the queen of pentacles. We've got the Virgo card here. She's also pregnant. Four of swords coming out of heartbreak and five of wands. Even though there's a lot of terror and conflict and nightmares here, um, someone is doing the work here because remember this is the this is the warrior that's taking time out taking a breath before they get up to fight use their ace of swords which is here in the foundation and someone that's going to be standing uh, very strong uh, even though they've got emotional wounds here remember the four of swords comes after the three Nine of Pentacles, this could be a brilliant, I would say more than likely, surprise, even though it's not easy. And someone, a surprise for someone out there could be pregnancy. So, let's have a look. Or that there, uh, this is, there's an aha moment here that's going to be a seed that's got the ability to grow. And the seed is a new beginning. Let's look at you, dear Cancer. And we've got the death card. So something's died for you as well. That's why you're on a new cycle with a fool. Those of you that have been dealing with a connection or a relationship where there's been deception, a lack of value, a lack of connection, whatever's taken away from you was meant to to leave you. Let's look at the Queen of Cups in your environment. So love is coming through. This could also be a sense of reconciliation with the Three of Cups. We've got Four Cups. Four Cups, which is a cycle that you've been through again and again. Maybe, as I said, unless someone was single here, they could not accept love right because they didn't want to be the third person maybe but we've got the three of cups here which is a card of rekindling expect something concerning your past to come through okay this is uh very much very family orientated so getting together with someone that feels like family this could also be a celebration in a home right a fam, maybe even friends celebrating your reconnection. This could be you getting out there and drinking to a celebration. Let's look at the Empress in your hopes and fears. Obviously, this is a hope. 
We've got the Seven of Cups. You're hoping for many doors to open. Uh, lots of doors. Unconditional love. This is Piscean. And maybe there's confusion. You're fearing the confusion, not knowing whether the other person is someone that sees you through... Um, through eyes of love, the way you see them. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Cups here. Page of Cups is an offer of love that comes through unexpectedly. This could also be uh, a childbirth. Remember, Page of Cups, Pisces. Um, it is an offer. Let's go out. Let's have a look at the Eight of Swords and... I will be extending this reading. Let's take one card. And we've got the Knight of Swords. So that's Nine Swords. Some business needs to happen here. Something needs to be let go of. Is it fear? Is it someone planting that seed of fear within you? This could also speak of legality. Someone fearing, um, you know, all these swords, all these sleepless nights. It's not an easy combination here and we've got karma which has shown up a lot look at the eclipse someone is fearing change here dear cancer i do feel that some of you have got strong taurus maybe that fixed energy within you but whatever is going on here someone is fearing change but we've got two cards three cards of eclipses and this is help from spirit which is saying what goes around comes around. Karma comes back to bite those who have not done the right thing, right? Seven of Pentacles, where you've been stuck, what, what, whatever is ahead of you. Is it a family situation? Is it a love connection? Um, someone is fearing fearing going through going through a divorce here but i feel that's why the tower comes through someone and, and cancer i know that you you are not very good with you know getting out of your comfort zone but there is a choice here there is a choice to stay in the past to stay unhappy right and if you stay, remember that when we're when we are very stuck in a situation, spirit comes through because we're being guided onto another path. Everyone is at this time. Everyone is having those eclipse moments in one area or another of their life. But whatever is taken away from you, you've got three new moons here. Okay? Three new moons. And there's also help from spirit. There's a resurrection happening for you and in your life. So go with the flow, dear Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to extend this reading, as I said. I do hope that this, um, that this reading resonated for you. I do feel that with the Emperor, this is talking about security. Having someone that's in a position of power, maybe, if you are the Queen of Pentacles, then the Emperor could be someone that's giving you the security. Okay. And this could also be a relationship um, that's trying to come through from a long time ago, I feel here. A relationship that someone's held for a long time. They've held it close to their heart, but it wasn't the right time. People were, I mean, the timing was off. Now, What's holding you now is a choice to move forward, to make that choice, to cover physical a physical distance, come out of fear. The three of birds can speak of nervousness, jittery, stressy feelings, but it also speaks of clarity. Remember that birds of a feather, they flock together. This is a group effort. Three of cups, three birds. All right? I will leave you with that. Thank you so much, dear Cancer. Sending you lots of love, lots of light.